y'all. Welcome back to the Drake for Bunch Adventures. My name is Carol and I'm so glad that you joined us today. Don't you just love this headband? I mean, doesn't Slinky make everything more fun? Um, if you haven't watched my video on all of my headbands and, and Mickey mini ears, all types of ears, <laughs> check out the link to the i button here and you can go and see all of my collection and learn where I bought them from so you can go buy your own if you want. So, today is a different type of video from what we've been doing. Today we're going to talk about, we're going to do an unboxing of the dissection kit. If you've watched any of my other videos, you probably saw me talk about how our dissection kit had been delayed several times for quite a while. And so my son ended up finishing out biology without doing the dissections because we didn't have the kit. The kit has finally arrived. And so today we're simply going to do an unboxing of that kit. And I just figured that I'm not super excited about the dissection stuff. So Slinky would make it all better. You know, everything's more fun with Slinky. Um, my husband's actually the one that's going to do the dissections with Max. And so I'll talk a little bit more about that in a, in, in a little bit. Okay, so here's the box. Came in a box like this. Um, I did for the purposes of this video, go ahead and split the tape and open it, but I have not taken, any, taken anything out of it. So this is Apology is Biology Dissection Kit, okay? So let's dig in and see what's in here. I'm a little nervous about it. I'm a little squeamish. My husband is not, and I am. So my husband works in the science field, so that's one of the reasons why he does the science experiments and the, um, we'll be doing the dissections with Max. I, I'm sorry that we didn't start our vlog sooner, so you could have seen some of those experiments throughout biology on video. Um, next year, I want to try to vlog more active teaching and learning in our homeschool so that you can see what it looks like. All right, you ready? Here we go. So here is a package that is vacuum sealed with the specimens in it. Um, that's a perch fish, I believe. There is, I'm not opening this all the way. There is an earthworm. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. There is an earthworm and you probably can't see it very well on the camera, but there's actually a, f a frog, an earthworm, a perch fish, and a crayfish in this dissection kit. And they're all kind of vacuum sealed in here together, keeping each other company. Um, we, for the purposes of the fact that we've already finished the curriculum, we'll probably only do a couple of the dissections. I'm gonna let my husband pick and choose what he feels is the best exp learning experience for Max at this point. We definitely will do the frog dissection. It'll be the first one that we do. And then I don't know which other one he will choose. He may decide to do all of them. Just make sure that you hit the bell button so you'll be notified when that new content comes. So in the box is this, the actual creatures themselves. Okay, and then um, there's a little blue case that looks like this. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna guess it's tools of some sort, maybe. Yes, it's, it's these are dissecting pins. It has been a long time since I have done high school biology, so I do not remember what any of this stuff is. Um, these are some of the other tools. I'm gonna kind of be careful holding this up because I think some of this stuff is kind of sharp, but it has like scissors and like little scalpels in there and a ruler, um, has a ruler and some other types of tools in there. I forget that I have to put my hand behind here if I want it to focus for you. And it does have scissors and it has a dropper. You can see that. Um, some tweezers in there. So it has like, I, I would imagine what are all the tools you need to do the dissection in a nice little case like this, including these little dissection pins. Um, there's a couple of papers in here. This one um, kind of gives you, in, this pink paper kind of gives you instructions about how to deal with the specimens. So there's a pink paper in there with instructions about how to deal with the specimens. And then there is an inventory list of what's in the box as well. So it says dissecting pan and flex pad. 
right? Which I'm sure is this next part that's coming out of the box. So this is the pan. It's pretty big. It has a little note in it that says plastic pans are not designed for use with black wax. Do not put this pan in the oven. Please do not attempt to cook the specimens. It doesn't say that. I just added that because I can't imagine why you would put the pan in the oven. Um, use Dissecto Flex Pads only, which I'm guessing is what this is. It's, it's very heavy. It's kind of thick, spongy kind of material, and it was inside the tray. So, I'm sorry. I found that note to be very interesting. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so this is the dissecting pan and pad, and that is the bottom of what is in the box. So, you've got your dissecting pan and pad. You have how to handle your specimens. In other words, like how to take care of them so that they, you know, how to keep them stored and stuff like that until you're using them. A list of items in here. Um... It set on the list it says pan and flex pad the dissecting tools is a, a plastic case stainless steel scissors a chrome probe a six inch plastic ruler 10 dissecting pins cartilage knife which is a heavy duty scalpel forceps another scalpel a three inch glass dropper a straight teasing needle and a curved teasing needle um, and then the set of four specimens like i said is an earthworm a frog a perch fish and a crayfish Okay, so that's on the list there. So those are in there. There's your tool set and then your specimens, which I will happily return to their box. So as I said, my husband works in a science field and he's going to be doing those dissections and I will be filming them for vlog. So please bear with us if, you know, things go awry during those vlogs. Um, what I've discovered is I'm actually happy to be sharing those with you because if you are using the Apology of Biology to do this dissection, um, in the textbook, whenever you get to an experiment, it has a box that kind of tells you what to do with the experiment. That pink box right there. I don't know how well you can see it, but it really doesn't matter if you can see it or not. Because what the box basically says is you have to figure it out yourself. Um, so it says, in order to give you experience doing things like a real scientist would, we will not give you any directions on how to perform this dissection. Um, so I am not going to read you all this. It just talks about going to your library, using the internet, researching, and the, um, student notebook, which again, I highly recommend if you're doing any of Apologia's curriculum that you get the student notebook. Um, but it has a section for experiments as well and usually it gives you instructions about how to perform the experiment and then it gives you specific questions and items that you have to answer or draw and label that go along with the experiments. Well that is not the case for the dissections. Again it tells you it's not going to tell you how to do the dissection. It basically wants you to experiment and kind of read a little bit and figure out kind of how to do that on your own. Um, you learn about the anatomy of the animals in the modules within the text. And so it just wants you to kind of explore those anatomies and things like that. So it really just gives you a place to make lab notes. You can see that the, uh, it has three or four blank pages that look just like that. So where you can draw and label parts or you can kind of handle it however you want to. I appreciate that flexibility to a point, but as somebody who doesn't have a heavy science background, I would be very frustrated at having to do that myself. So I would have to say that's the first thing and the only thing about the Apologia curriculum that I have disliked. I do not like the fact that it doesn't give instructions on how to do the dissection because if most parents are like me, and I'm guessing they are unless they're scientists, it's been a while since they took high school biology, and even if they did, they may not have dissected these specimens, and so it's it's a little unnerving to try to figure it out yourself. <laughs> I'm sure YouTube probably has some videos on it, but please make sure you subscribe and get notifications if you're interested, because we are going to be doing some of these dissections in a vlog, and my husband is very, very knowledgeable, and um, I have every confidence we'll do a great job doing these dissections with Max. So you definitely, um, if you're interested in seeing the dissections, please subscribe. Please hit the bell for notifications so that hopefully we can help you get an idea of what you want to do. Of course, you can do your own thing. I mean, that's the whole point of what they're saying is that you can do it your own way. Um, but if it were me, I would really struggle with that and feel very uncomfortable trying to figure it out myself. 
So I'm happy that my husband is going to assist with this. Um, due to his work schedule, it may be a little bit of time in between those dissections, but we definitely will get them done this summer. So make sure that you stay tuned for those. Thank you guys for sharing this unboxing with me. I will have many more unboxings this summer as we get in our new curriculum, as we order and get it in. Um, we do have a trip coming up in about 10 days or so that we're gonna be leaving to go to North Carolina. That's gonna be my first attempt at vlogging outside of the home. So I'm hoping those vlogs will turn out well and we can share at least a little bit with you of our trip. Of course, we want to be respectful to those that we're visiting and not vlog them if they don't want to be shown on the camera. So, um, Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out our, our 100 subscriber giveaway video. I keep having trouble saying that. Make sure you check out that video so that you can enter to win our giveaway. Again, we appreciate you supporting us. We appreciate you sharing our videos with people that you know who might be interested. You guys are awesome. Until next time, we'll see y'all real soon.